Number six. Oh, excellent. Josh Allen. Hey, Josh. I take it personally, all the success that Josh Allen has in the NFL. Like, I'm rooting for him to have success. I loved him coming out of college. Number six in finish. Number four in consistency. What? That's right, Mike. The fourth most consistent quarterback. He only busted twice. And so when you look at the consistency (laughs) score, he was extraordinarily consistent. But what he was lacking. Like like quarterback 12? 73% good games, my friend. 73% good games, but the problem is 13% great games. He was not a weak winner. He's not the type of fantasy asset that I wanted most weeks. I would rather roll with a guy like Jameis who was less consistent but his ceiling was so much higher. I mean, you just didn't see, other outside of week 11, you didn't see Josh Allen have... I feel like he's the best quarterback for Christian McCaffrey owners on the earth. Sure. That would be He's just perfect. not going to ruin your week. You know, going forward, he's got a rushing baseline. A lot of times those rushing quarterbacks have a really high floor. Their consistency comes a little bit easier because in games where they can't throw the ball, they can make it up with their legs. That was Josh Allen. But this is just – it's a team that is not going to score a lot of points. They've got a good defense, and they don't want to be one of those I outscore you teams with McDermott. So, I, I you know, I think it's more of the same next year. I don't think we're waiting for him to level up and be good enough for them to score more points. I don't think that's what the Bills want. Uh, this is a team that I could see A.J. Green landing on pretty easily as well. I think they'll try to go get a bigger-bodied receiver w- weapon. You know, we had our – what. Blink and you missed it. Antonio Brown's a Buffalo Bill last year for a split second. Right. You know, John Brown was very much this same story at the wide receiver position where he just never really gave you big weeks, but he was just hanging around that, I'm a wide receiver 15, I'm a wide receiver 14, I'm, I'm not hurting you, but I'm not. And it was kind of surprising because Allen ended last season with some monster games. Because he was running. Because he, he was running so His much. rushing yards dropped from 52 a game down to 31. And 31 rushing yards a game, that's that's nice. I mean, that's that's a good little uh, extra step in the fantasy score, but that's not enough to really make a difference. Yeah, and now you have a situation with, uh, you know, he, he made progress as a passer. Nine interceptions. You know, you talk about discipline at the position. Nine interceptions, four fumbles lost. Ran for five more than 500 yards at the quarterback position. Limited weapons on offense. You know, if it's Devin Singletary, John Brown and company, they bring somebody else in, I am. I would expect more of the same from Josh Allen. I think Jason's right about that. I think Allen's a top 10 quarterback next next year. And he yeah. was drafted at quarterback 21. Yeah, he, he might be, but, you know, this remind this season reminds me of several years in a row of Phillip Rivers where because he was so consistently meh, He finished high because he didn't really bust, but he didn't win you fantasy weeks. You look at the first, you know, the first nine weeks of the season. The first nine weeks of the season, he was the quarterback on points per game, quarterback 11. That sounds great. Except he was only a quarterback one twice in those nine weeks. That's not going to win you weeks. That's not how you get to the playoffs and how you get to a championship game. Uh, I want a higher ceiling than just a consistently middle of the pack fantasy finish. He mm. was consistent at it, but I don't want I don't want my quarterback to finish outside the top twelve any given week. And the majority of the time he did. I just like that he's young. I like that he made progress as a passer, and I like that there's opportunity for weapons there. Do you guys agree with me? Is that a destination you could see AJ Green landing I th- it? I think they will add somebody whether it's they take a shot for green or they draft someone in the top three rounds yeah i think they'll draft a a really high prospect hey guess what click that subscribe button and i might send you something in the mail maybe you should do it